The University of Central Florida Knights are getting ready for their big game tomorrow against I-4 rival South Florida. Channel 9 sports anchor Joe Kepner took a look at their pregame practice and what Coach Scott Frost thinks it will take to remain unbeaten. If UCF beats their biggest rival, they will host the conference championship game next week. Win that, and the Knights will be in one of the biggest bowl games of the year. UCF is expecting heavy traffic and a sold-out crowd. 45,000 fans for what is considered the most important regular season game in school history. I think we have a home field advantage when it hasn't been sold out. So um, if we can get it loud and rocking in there, um, that gives us an advantage. And, um, man, I'm looking forward to seeing it sold out. The Knights are one of just four teams in the country still undefeated as we enter the final weekend of the regular season. Win this game and the conference championship, they could jump into the top 10 in the national rankings for the second time and play in a New Year's Six Bowl game, earning a payout of more than $20 million, which they would split with the rest of the conference. But none of that happens if they don't handle their I-4 rival. Anytime the necessarily the fate of the season comes down to one last game against your against your uh, so-called rival is it's a lot of fun but uh, you got to embrace that you got to live for moments like that and uh, I think our, I think our team is up for it head coach Scott Frost celebrated the birth of his first child a couple weeks ago along with the success on the field said this season is the most fun he's had as a college football coach man it puts everything in perspective and it's the best part of my day when I get to go home and, and sit there and hold him so um, this has been an unbelievable season for me. This is the first sellout crowd for UCF this season. Knights lost to South Florida last year. The Bulls scored an extra touchdown with 11 seconds to go in that game. And Frost and the Knights said they would remember that.